Hi, Broken Arrow. It is Tuesday. I hope you're having a nice day. Way back when, I used to sing a song with the kids called Father Abraham. Uh, you may remember it. It goes, Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham, and I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, Father Abraham. And then it went on and on with right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg, nod your head, turn around, etc., etc. It's a silly song, but it actually has a deep theological meaning. Listen to what Paul says in Galatians 3, 26 to 29. He writes, So in Christ Jesus you are all children of God through faith. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Paul reminds us that when you belong to Christ, all the ways that we divide ourselves here on earth become insignificant. All those man-made separations fall away. Now, in Paul's time, there were huge divisions between Jews and, and non-Jews, the Gentiles. Paul worked his whole ministry to break down those walls, to bring Greeks, to bring non-Jews into the church of Jesus Christ. Now, in Paul's day, of course, there was uh, slavery. There were huge divisions between free people and slaves, uh, between men and women. And uh, in the centuries since, the church has worked to break down all those barriers, not, not always successfully, uh, not always as early as it should have. But anything that divides us is broken down by our unity in Christ. Race, language, skin color, nationality, gender, wealth, whatever. None of those barriers stand in Christ. We are one. We are one people in Christ. And Paul says that because of that, we are all Abraham's seed. In other words, we're all children of Abraham. The Jews were so proud of the fact that they were literally descended from the patriarch Abraham. But Paul says that we have all been adopted into that family, into the people of God, the, the children of God. And that is why we can call each other as Christians, why we can call each other sister and brother. That's why we can sing Father Abraham. So brothers and sisters, have a great day. And remember, God is good all the time.